NC Analyze tab is one of the most powerful features of Monospos Developer. Here, you can quickly generate the NC programs with the current settings in your post processor. Later, NC Analyze tab also gives you the chance to quickly analyze the NC program lines. I will show you how to analyze an NC program in this Heidenhain post processor. Let's create an NC program first. When you right click on any of these NC lines, a selection menu will appear. Let's look at this NC line, which contains the plane method. When I right click on it, first of all, next to go to operation, you will see in parentheses which operation is active for this NC line. Here you see a three axis milling operation, as all plane rotation angles in this plane method are zero. Therefore, op three axis milling is displayed here as the active operation. If I select go to operation, three axis milling operation will be active in the tree. Now let's look other NC lines. You can see that three axis milling operation is still active for the other NC lines in the same operation. Now, let's look at a 3 plus 2 axis operation. This plane line belongs to a 3 plus 2 axis milling operation because rotation angles are different than zero. Therefore, when I right click on this NC line, we will start seeing op indexed milling as the active operation. And selecting go to operation will open this operation in the tree. If I select motion lines here, I will continue to see the indexed operation. Moreover, you can also use the right click menu to go to the cutting mode, action, command, event, and the APT CL line, which are used while generating this NC line. Let's start with go to cutting mode. When you select this option, the active cutting mode, which is used to generate this NC line, will be displayed in the cutting modes tab. Here, the plane cutting mode in the top level operation becomes active. Note that there is something interesting here. As you remember, this line belongs to op indexed milling operation. However, the active cutting mode used for this NC line is defined in the top level operation. This shows the power of Monospos developer. There is a parent child relation between operations. And since no cutting mode is defined here in op indexed milling, this operation uses the cutting mode defined in its nearest parent. And since there is also no cutting mode defined in the milling operation, the one defined inside the top level operation becomes active. You will often see this parent child relation when you navigate on the NC Analyze tab. Now let's continue with Go to Command. I will right click on this line. This will open Format Motion Rapid inside the top level operation. And if I right click on this NC line, this will open Format Motion Helical inside the top level operation again. Here, again, we see the parent child relation. Although here in this NC line, the active operation is op indexed milling, the command used to create this NC line is defined inside the top level operation. Since op index milling operation doesn't have format motion linear and format motion helical commands defined in itself, it uses the commands defined in its nearest parent. Let's now look at an NC line in a simultaneous operation. As you can see, this line belongs to the simultaneous or angle head operation and also uses the format positioning at safe position command defined in the same operation. Let's continue with go to action now. This is so similar to go to command. When you select this option, the action which is used to generate this NC line will be displayed on the events tab. However, sometimes you may not see some actions here. For instance, in this example, Go to action is not available for this NC line. This is because this action, and therefore the event in which it is created, has not yet been added to this post processor. This is a circular motion line, and as you can see, event circular motion is not added in the post processor. 
If I add it now, and generate a new NC program afterwards. You will start seeing, go to action, in the same line now. When we select this option, it will go to the action circular motion, defined in this newly added event. Note that, if an event is absent in the events tab in the top level operation, this doesn't mean that this event is not working. Actually, it continues to run in the background, with its default settings. Go to event, is completely same with go to action. The only difference is, instead of activating an action inside an event, go to event, activates the event. Lastly, let's look at go to aptcl line. First of all, the aptcl line number, which is used to generate this NC line, is displayed in parentheses here. Later, if you also want to see this aptcl line, just click on this option. A pop-up window will appear showing the aptcl file, and also the active aptcl line, used to generate this nc line. 